since 2010. The additional stress that these conditions bring and the ongoing financial costs do little to help our residents. The Tory government has the power to act and address this matter, but instead it chooses not to deal with the problems. So I would encourage all members to support this motion. Average of 
It's clear we need action to support the many people affected and to stop the abuse of the retold system. The government says it recognises the need for reform but fails to, live, to deliver. Councillor Berry and I are committed to support the re residents we represent in Alton Hunts Cross who are affected by this scandal. I'm sure all my colleagues in the chamber will agree it is simply outrageous that this is being allowed to continue. Leaseholders deserve a fair deal and an end to this unfair practice in the leasehold market. Colleagues, I urge you to support the motion. Councillor Richard Kemp, uh, your second Well, uh, could I begin also by congr congratulating Councillor Kimberly Berry on a very effective and passionate maiden speech. Uh, as you will notice, that what we're moving today is not an amendment to the motion. We're not trying to change anything in the wording, we're trying to add to it because we believe in every single word in the motion that's been moved today. As Councillor Brandt said so clearly in the last debate, our housing system in this country isn't working for anyone except rich development companies and private sector landlords and developers who can exploit the needs of the vast majority of us. You will have seen, just three months ago, a person who chair who was the chief executive of a major development company making, in just one year, a £70 million bonus. That wasn't a company that worked in Liverpool, but a company that does work in Liverpool, their chair made a £23 million bonus in one year. And it is estimated that up to 10% of the profits of companies that are house development builders are now being made by what can only be regarded as this leasehold scam. So this council should unite with not only the people in Liverpool, but I disagree with the Mayor, sometimes there is a reason for working across a wider field on problems that are common, we should be working with other councils on issues like this because this is what we need, what we need here is legislative change. But I hope, my Lord Mayor, that this amendment that we're moving will be supported because it's all very well talking the talk and blaming the government or someone else for everything. But actually, in Liverpool, we have been part of the problem. As the resident, as the councillors for Alpru Hunt Cross, Cross know, some of these problems have arisen on land which this council has sold in good faith. And I don't think anyone was trying to do anything in this council other than act on it. But where we have sold the freehold to a company, they have used this leasehold scam to enhance their profits. And I believe that we need to act on that. And I'm hoping that the Chief Executive, presumably the Regeneration Team, who are looking at this, will be able to bring forward a very urgent report on how we can stop this happening in those pieces of land which are in our control. I'm not spelling that out today because it's legal, it's technical, that's why I'm asking for a report, but it's no good just moaning if we're not prepared to take action ourselves. This might reduce the value of land that we sell, but it's in the long-term interest of those people we want to be long-term citizens of our country. And I hope that the mover and second of this motion will actually support it in the positive spirit in which it is intended. There are no other speakers, so I'm going to ask you, please don't repeat what's already. If you've got something new to bring into to this motion, bring it in. So my first uh, speaker is Councillor 
Thank you, my Lord Mayor. Um, I will be brief, but I wanted to bring up the actual example that Councillor Hennigan and myself have dealt with of Cressington Heath. We've only just managed to spend the Section 106 money, but in the meantime on that new development, uh, the freehold has changed hands twice, and the residents are all complaining that they can't afford the increased service costs and what have they had for it? A bit of planting and apparently a few Christmas lights. It is a scandal. It needs addressing. The mechanism of addressing it now, it's far too long to wait. Councillor, uh, sorry, Career Evil MP said we've got to wait far too long. The only way is through a private member's bill and whether that will ever go through I do not know. I am aware that lots of people think that on planning conditions we can start to specify whether it's freehold or leasehold uh, for rent, for sale. No, none of that's possible. Doesn't mean it shouldn't be possible. So I very briefly want to draw your attention to a letter that just arrived today from MP and Shadow Minister for Planning and Local Government, want to get it right, Roberta Blackwell Woods. She says that if you've got anything you want to feed into her planning forum, and we had the very first meeting of the regional meetings of that planning commission um, to feed into her, and I've got her email. And these are the sorts of matters that she wants to consider the changes in planning legislation. There's got to be a change in planning legislation, a change in housing legislation, possibly both. I just wanted to flag that up with everybody and to very much congratulate Kimberly for your debut speech and Sharon for an excellent speech. So well researched. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Lord Mayor. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Um, yes, congratulations to Kimberly and, uh, and Sharon. Uh, great speeches, very important uh, topic. Um, I, I just wanted to uh, get up and support this motion. And I want to support the motion by condemning the actions of uh, developers Sigma and uh, Countryside on the Nice Green Village and Queen Mary uh, Estates. Um, while New City Vision, New City Vision, have developed 50% uh, of, of that estate, they've sold all their houses as free old. Unfortunately, Countryside have sold most of their properties on a leasehold basis and residents are suffering from all the abuses that have been adequately outlined uh, by other speakers. What's particularly disturbing about the situation in, uh, in Norris Green uh, with Countryside and Sigma is that they don't this while being in partnership with the City Council. Now, I sit on the partnership and I can absolutely categorically say that at no point did they ever raise those issues or refer that issue or advise us of their intentions regarding uh, introducing uh, these le leasehold sales. I think it's absolutely disgusting the way that they behave effectively going behind our backs. As local councillors, um, and not as being um, the redevelopment of the British state, has been a great success story. And as local councillors, we, we've been asked on, on and numerous occasions to meet with other local authorities and other agencies in order to promote the good work that's taking place there. But unfortunately, because the attitude that the developers have adopted towards these leasehold sales, then we're refusing uh, to do that and we've boycotted uh, any uh, approach from them. And what I'd like to do is, is in, in so far as, as we can, I'd like to ask the Mayor to consider a way in which uh, we could obviously force them to complete their existing obligations, but at the same time investigate uh, boycotting them and any future dealings with them until they actually resolve the outstanding issues uh, with residents and cease 
uh, this kind of practice. You know, modest green is a great success story, but unfortunately, its success is being tarnished by the greed of, the, of some of these developers. Thank you very much. To, to congratulate everybody on, on an excellent um, first speech and for bringing this motion to, to the council because um, a number of people might not have been fully uh, aware of it, certainly outside of the chamber. It's really in only in the last couple of years it's come to the, the public consciousness. Uh, but despite this, um, a number of the, the behaviours and elements of it will echo various other scandals. Uh, deliberate exploitation of loopholes in regulation, corporate greed by organisations who are sometimes offshore, massive bonuses that Councillor Kemp uh, referred to earlier, uh, in time supported by public money. Many of these homes were, were built with help to, to buy money. And a government that when the scale of the problem becomes clear, offers warm words, but then drags its feet on any effective action. Uh, it all sounds depressingly familiar, doesn't it? Meanwhile, ordinary people lose out. And to be fair, I don't uh, unduly blame councils across the northwest or across the country of, of any political persuasion for how we, we got here. Um, you know, in terms of austerity uh, and the need to build more, more homes, it's perhaps unsurprising that some thought what was on offer what was attractive. The, the blame lies clearly and squarely with developers who deliberately and systematically engineered an existing legal structure into a vehicle for corporate profit, either their own or those of leasehold investment companies who they then sold leases onto and now use them to extract even more money from those affected. Um, and I think even when some of those developers do seek to row back from some of the most extreme rises in costs that we've heard from colleagues today, even then they're doing it with an eye on their own profit and their own reputation rather than generally offering redress. Uh, some developers are offering the chance to pay ground rent at uh, RPI rather than doubling every 10 years, uh, but they're only doing so if the homeowner waives any future right to compensation or redress from any uh, future inquiry. Others offer the lease in name but still retain a uh, restricted commissions costs. We've heard a number of those I'm aware of one um, organisation in the North West that charges £120 to ask for permission simply to have a pet.